In this video, we'll see how to make Reese's like peanut butter cups at home. Let's get started. For this recipe, we need 3 tablespoon peanut butter. I'm using creamy peanut butter. I'm using the Sano peanut butter because it's healthy and tasty. To the peanut butter, add 2 teaspoon powdered sugar. Give this a good mix and you need to whip this for good 5 minutes and you would notice that this mixture would become slightly fluffy. If you want, you can add around 1 tablespoon soft butter, soft as in at room temperature butter to this mixture and whip. This is ready, I am not using any additional butter. Next step is to melt some chocolate. Here I've got 1 cup chocolate. You may use compound but to get better taste, you should use chocolate, I suggest. You can use milk, dark or white chocolate. So on a double boiler setup, you can melt it this way, the way I'm showing. Or you can put the chocolate in your microwave, heat for 30 seconds, mix again, heat for 30 seconds and that way you can melt the chocolate. Here I've got some cupcake liners, but if you do not have cupcake liners or cupcake molds, you can use paper cups or prasad paper cups, the white ones, small white prasad cups which we get in the market, you can use those as well for this recipe. So pour in some chocolate around 1 to 2 teaspoon and then spread it evenly. Next step is to add the peanut butter frosting. You can use two spoons the way I am doing or you can put it in a piping bag and pipe. Whichever way you are comfortable. After that, dip your finger in either water or oil and spread it like this. Next step is to again add around 1-2 to two teaspoon chocolate. So make sure you add the same amount of chocolate which you added before you added the peanut butter frosting. So that way your filling would be exactly in the center. Now set this in your refrigerator, not in the freezer section, in your refrigerator for 5 to 10 minutes. That's it. With this recipe, you can make 8 medium sized peanut butter cups. And next step is to demold. Just pull the paper cups or paper liner the way I am doing and these would easily come off. You can store these in your airtight container. If the weather is good, you can store these outside your refrigerator. But if it's not cold, if it's summers or not good, then you can store these in your refrigerator, not freezer, in your regular refrigerator section. We haven't added any water or anything of that sort. So the end date or the expiry of this product would be same as your chocolate or peanut butter. So whichever date comes first, so you can keep a track accordingly. Give this recipe a try and enjoy.